Greetings, greetings, greetings. So thank you for clicking on this video. If you clicked on this video, then this message is for you. <laughs> I am doing a continuation on the read from The African Goddess Risings by Abiola Adams, going through this oracle deck and providing readings. However, if you clicked on this reading, then this message is for you. And I'm doing two cards, just two cards with the message for you from the Abiola Adams Oracle deck. Okay, the first card is Long Bubby Susie, the goddess Long Bubby Susie, okay? Representing shame, shame. Let's look at the artwork on this card. Okay. The second card is Jumbi, the goddess of masks. Okay. The goddess of masks, Jumbi. Masks and shame. So if you clicked on this reading, the message is that you or someone around you are wearing a mask because you're ashamed. I mean, and we all wear masks. Paul Lawrence Dunbar, famous poet, famous black poet, wrote a poem that says, we wear the mask that grins and lies. He got a interesting view Excuse me. Of slavery. He was a black poet and he wrote, We wear the mask that grins and lies. Talking about the fact that black people wore social masks to um, hide who they truly were from a racist society back then. Um, and in order to survive, really. And, um, a lot of times we all wear masks. We all have a social face, a representative that masks our deeper, truer self. Um, and it is a lot of times something that we learned as a part of survival, as a survival mechanism. So I'm trying to get the glare off my glasses. <laughs> um, so as a result, A lot of times people wear masks for different reasons. For example, when I am honest about myself and about the social masks that I wear, I wear them for um, trust issues. I try to be authentic, you know, but um, you can't trust everyone and not everyone gets to know the real you or the true you because that's a privilege. And so in that sense, when you wear a mask, as far as, you know, social niceties and having, um, having a um, connection with people that's based off of societal expectations, it's not that deep of a relationship. For example, you know, working side by side with someone doesn't necessarily mean you have to be the best of friends. It doesn't necessarily mean that um, you guys are bosom buddies. It means that you spend a lot of time together. However, um, that doesn't need to be someone that you have a deep connection with. It's someone that you were put to work next to, to you know get a paycheck and to achieve a common goal. And you can be polite and you can be civil and you can be you know, somewhat personable, but the true you um, really should be reserved for the special people in your circle. So this message for you, however, I believe that if you clicked on this reading, you have a deep sense of shame about something. Now, shame, just like any personality disorder, we all have a, a normal sense of shame, but when it becomes a disorder is when it's not reasonable. 
for example, you know, someone who is dyslexic, I mean, some not dyslexic. Okay, let's say maybe you, you have a dyslexia and you're hiding it. Maybe you're hiding the fact that you're dyslexic and um, you feel a sense of shame about that instead of empowerment over the fact that um, you're overcoming something that normal people don't have to overcome, which makes you extraordinary. But you're looking at it like the fact that you're different and you should be ashamed of it. And that um, causes you to wear a mask to you know, hide something that honestly, if you flip your perspective on it, you shouldn't be ashamed of it. You should be proud of your um, ability to overcome something that most people don't, okay? But um, you look at someone who has body dysmorphia. So they may be feeling shame over some, you know, their body or their physical appearance, you know, thinking that it's one way when in fact it's not. Excuse me. Sorry. When in fact it's not that way, they just feel like it's that way because of a distorted sense of shame. Where does that shame come from? Where did it even come from? It's not even based or rooted in reality. And a lot of times when we have a distorted sense of shame, it usually isn't rooted in reality. It's usually overblown, overthinking. And if you're overblowing it, it means that you also have an inflated sense of self because nobody, at the end of the day, most people are very self-centered and you think they're thinking about you. They may think about you like a little bit, but for the most part, they're thinking of themselves. I mean, that's just human nature. Most of the times, I mean, the dominant part of what people think about is themselves, how they feel, what they want, uh, what's wrong with them even. You know, they're wrapped up in their own stuff centered around themselves because each person's life is a, um, they're the center of their own world. You know, I'm the center of my own world. You're the center of your own world. But your sense of shame is inflated. It's, um, it's something you really need to get to the roots of why. Why are you hiding it? Why are you ashamed of it? Why are you carrying this deep sense of shame? And what can you do to, first of all, forgive yourself, um, change your perception of it? Because the perception of it needs to be changed by you. It's how you look at it that matters. And then that will extend outward to the world from your energy. Because if you are looking at it like, um, you know, I'm, I'm ashamed of uh, this. I think it's so terrible. And, um, you know, I need to hide it from other people. Then that's going to extend outward whether you realize it or not. Because people will pick it up energetically. So, you know, I'm an empath and I can pick up on energy, you know, so sometimes someone will be wearing a mask and I can sense what's really going on underneath because I feel the emotion. I'll feel the shame. I'll feel the embarrassment or I'll feel the hidden rage or the hidden um, sadness or depression, you know. So we all wear kinds of masks, all kinds of masks, because a lot of times, yeah, depression is another thing. You know, people will wear a mask like they're so happy or a mask. I've found that there are people who wear a mask like they're so miserable because they are ashamed to be happy. They feel like if they show that they're happy, it will invite problems. And we just, excuse me, <laughs> I'm channeling, so I start, I'm yawning, but we, we just all get different reasons for the, the reasons for what we do. But at the end of the day, you don't have to wear a mask. So that is my interpretation of that card, of these two cards from the Oracle Rising deck. Now, let's look at the book's interpretation of these two goddesses. Now, I don't, I've never heard of a goddess of shame. So I'm also learning about this and we'll be learning this together. 
And as you can see, yes, I'm in a very comfortable spot. I'm reading from a very comfortable space. Um, so this makes this a very intimate reading. This makes you, the person who clicked on this reading, um, we're having a, a conversation on this in an intimate setting because you are deserving of that, okay? Now, let's go to, let's see, the, the numbers that could be significant for you, the number nine and the number one, okay? Nine is endings. Nine is endings. Nine is closing out a chapter uh, on something or some things, and it's um, the ending, the finality of certain things. Nine would be like the death card. Nine is about um, really transforming, you know, taking all the lessons from the previous times and closing out the chapter, the world card, really. Um, and it's time for you to end this mask of shame, okay? Uh, like I said, there's all kinds of masks. I personally think it's positive to wear a mask that doesn't give everyone access to your vulnerability because not everyone deserves to be um, into your personal self, your personal space. The vulnerability is something that someone should earn because you trust them and you've established a connection. Not everyone should, deserves that right. Okay. So yeah, you should wear a mask of... Um, just superficiality or just surface level things so people don't have to know all your business okay or know um the deeper parts of you because that's not for everybody okay um i look at like the master jesus lord jesus and how he had a very he had thousands of disciples and he had apostles but he really had like three intimate people who were very close to him they were closer to him they were like his best friends the ones who um were the closer ones to him so you know that to me is an archetype of relationships because it's like that you know even if you're very very well known very famous you know but not everybody gets to know the real you you should have a social mask however if you are wearing a mask of shame a mask um based on worrying about what people think and their opinions on something that's a weakness or a perceived failure of yours, um, you need to get over it. You know, you need to get over it. And if it's something that you need to pay your penance for, you've done something really terrible and you need to um, just kind of absolve that, then again, you need to figure out what you can do to correct it and um, and then move forward because life goes on. At the end of the day, fix what you need to fix about your personality and your character. Um, become the person you know you should be. And then you don't have to wear a mask because you are who you are. Someone who's a redeemed person, someone who's changed, someone who is uh, working to be better and do better and recognizing the wrongs that you've done and taking steps every day to correct it okay own that that's something that's inspirational you can inspire someone else to do the same so we need to come to an end of that okay and have a new beginning with the number one because the number one is about new beginnings the start of a new journey okay now let's go to the book and see what um abiola Ad abrams wrote for this oracle and see what what this card is saying according to the deck creator okay and let's see how close i am to the interpretation for you okay now we're going to start with the goddess of mask jumbi the shadow of masks the caribbean she's from the caribbean so uh her temple is the shadow temple so her element is air are you an air sign or do you have air prominent on your chart? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Jumbies are the scary, shadowy, otherworldly spirits and monsters of the Caribbean. 
Now the guidance for, according to the book, is where is the lie? Get quiet to get clear. Put your hand on your heart. Now are you confused or are you afraid? Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. The embodiment, show your true face. Wearing a mask blocks your vulnerability and blessings. If you are wearing a mask, dare to reveal yourself. You are lying to others and to yourself. Wearing a mask is exhausting. Be you. If someone else is wearing a mask with you, you deserve clarity. Your relationship and connection is built on lies. Their mask is a protection of your own. The goddess declaration, I am willing to remove the mask. Ashe, I didn't get into... The reading was for those who are wearing a mask. Now let's get into someone around you wearing a mask because they are ashamed. If someone close to you is wearing a mask and they're masking their shame and their guilt about something, you need to be honest about what you're sensing about this person. And you can ask your angels before you go to sleep. You can write down, please reveal the truth to me about who's wearing a mask. I'm open to receiving the truth. Place it under your pillow. And so it's ironic that I'm in a bedroom because that message is for someone else. You will get the truth. Are you ready for the truth? Are you ready to hear the truth? Are you ready to face the truth? No matter what, because if you do this, you will get the truth. Okay, your angels, your guidance will give you the truth. But are you ready to face it? Do you want to run from it? Do you want to laugh about it? Do you want to make light of it? Or are you really ready to face the truth about this person and the mask that they're wearing and why they're wearing the mask? And then you can you can determine whether or not you feel the need to help them address the deeper issue or if you realize that you're not their therapist and you're not their mama or daddy and they need to face and work on this for themselves but in the meantime they don't need to you don't need to have people who are lying to you around you okay but a lot of times if we have people around us who are lying to us are we lying to ourselves because the fact that we're keeping them in our life means that we're lying to ourselves about something. Because deep down inside, we know. Okay? So that is a message for whoever is wearing a mask around you. Okay? Now, let's get the, um, the oracle interpretation of the next goddess. The long bubby Susie. Okay? Shame. Let's see what Abiola has to say about this. Now, the long bubby Susie is a shadow goddess from the Garifuna Belize area. She's from the Temple of Shadows and her element is fire. So you have fire prominent on your chart, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, Mars, uh, any of these placements on your chart. Now, uh, Jupiter or Saturn, this could be your Saturn placement. If these are both shadow cards and you clicked on it, you could have your Saturn in either a air sign or a fire sign, or you could have a, um, I want to say a south node in either a fire or an air sign. So you can look on your chart and see. But the long bubby Susie keeps the children of Belize terrified. She's viewed as a shadow monster. So again, these are monsters. She has the power to kill or to nurture with her long, scary breasts that contain milk and poison. Okay. She has the power to kill and nurture with a long, scary breast that contain milk and poison. This beautiful Afro-Indigenous spirit may be a distortion of the Arawak Taino moon goddess, Arabe, 
Now, the shadow guidance for you or maybe the person who's around you doesn't realize, but you are beautiful and loved. Every part of you in your journey is beautiful. Even the ugliest moments, you have a heart, soul, and breath that makes you beautiful. You are secretly scared. The embodiment is that you are secretly scared that you're not enough. Shame is lying to you. You are not broken, unlovable, ugly, or unworthy. Shame keeps you small and hiding. Accept yourself. Accept who you are. You are a bright light. Allow yourself to see who you really are. You are doing the very best you can. You are lovable and you are complete. The goddess declaration, I am protected. Okay, so for you who clicked on this reading, I am protected and I am willing to remove the mask are your two affirmations for your shadow work. Okay, looking at yourself, knowing that you are enough. Okay, you are worthy. You are healed and lovable. You can say, I am healed. I am lovable. I am worthy. I am enough. Okay? And affirm those things for yourself. These are the goddesses that have come with that message for you so that you can remove for those shadows once and for all. And it didn't know that it is possible to remove it once and for all and that there's life after that. Now, will there be something else to work on? Of course, we are works in progress. We are original works of art as humans. and We all continue to work and do better if you are willing to do the work, to get up and say your affirmations, to self-reflect and self-evaluate and push past the things that are limiting ourselves examining the limiting beliefs that we have because both of these shadows come from limiting beliefs about ourselves and limiting beliefs start out as thoughts in our head about ourselves statements we make about ourselves and that's why affirmations are important because we are now reframing those limiting beliefs into positive affirming empowering beliefs to make them real in our life, casting a spell over our personality and our life. Ashe. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that this reading was helpful for you because like I said, if you clicked on it, um, there is a message for you in it. So I appreciate the support. And um, if you like what you're hearing, if you like the readings, I have several other videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. You can hit the bell notification as well if you want to get notified every time I upload. And um, I'll have all the details below in the comments. So thank you so much. I'm sending you lots of love. Um, if you want to connect, you can find me on Instagram at ULHC underscore oneness or minister. Or you can find me as um, Kismet Destiny Hope um, at Kismet Destiny Hope. Either one of those pages are my page on Instagram. And you can also check out our website, www.universallifeandhopecenter.com. So all the details will be below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you love and I'm sending you lots of wishing you success, blessings, and growth. Ashe.